May our Father, Messiah, and Holy Spirit be with us. Just let y'all see the hero. No. <laughs> enjoying life, man. Baby boy with me. You know. So this video topic will be what's holding you back from the kingdom of heaven? What's holding you back from ascending? What's holding you back from making it? Father knows I was at work. You know, I mean, our father and son of the spirit with us. And I was just, you know, going through the fiery trials, to be honest. You know, just... I was just, I'm going through the fire trials every single day. Family members, you know, just this life. But my father gives you new revelations, new confirmations, fast and a prayer. And then it leads you to, you know, the peace above all understanding. You know I mean, let the dead bury the dead. You feel me? We keep it moving. We love them. Father, Messiah, Holy Spirit. But you don't let nobody discourage you on your mission. They discourage you on your mission. We only take an encouragement on our mission. This is Babylon. We gotta get out of Babylon, get out of confusion. So I got out the phone, my family member or whatever. And I get back into the car and our brother was like, man, I just heard you talking on the phone and stuff like that. And he just, he's, I just said, this is what I did. I got it right here too. I said, yeah, I said, because people start acting funny when you start following this, every word of this. They start following this, that's what they do. And he like, so then he's then it, then it seemed like he had some questions for me. He like, oh, he's like, oh, okay, okay, I feel it, whatever. I got I got some questions, bro. Yeah, I'm like, you know, like, shoot, you know. <laughs> Ask your question, you know. And yes, the video the topic of this video is what's holding you back from everlasting life. So he asked me, I forgot the first thing he said, uh, but basically he was just asking like uh like what's what's the best no no i think he was like uh no no this was started off because i remember first because i was already kind of amped up holy spirit is flowing you feel me and then he was talking about christmas and stuff like that i was already they was talking to each other because i was in the middle we were in a truck and i was like squished you know in, in between the both of them you know not 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 like physically squished but spiritually squished you know between two brothers who i pray that you know they repent you know this is what it is i love those brothers but yes, I'm in between them two. They're talking about Christmas to each other, and they're like, and then, because the one dude, he's just like, because uh, he was already asking me a bunch of stuff, like, oh, I'm reading the Bible. He's like, he's really into that stuff like that. Like, okay, like, this is what this guy does. And I was already with the other guy and writing me the other day, and he's like, yeah, that's what he do. He's reading his drain all yesterday. That's what I do. I'm just locked in, and I'm focused, and I'm reading it. You feel me? That's what I'm doing. So then, because uh, he was asking me, like, what ET? He was like, he was like, you probably don't eat pork. I said, I don't eat meat at all. He was like, I knew it, man. The guy not love me. And he was asking me a bunch of other different type of questions and stuff. And I'm just like, brother, I'm just being a human. You know, I'm just living life. But uh, yeah, then he was like, you probably don't even, you don't even do Christmas or something like that either. I said, nah, bro. And then the guy asked me to write. He said, why? I said, for real, for real. I said, that's Babylonian, bro. I said, this is Babylon. We have to get out of confusion for real, for real. I said, if we read the Bible, there's holy days and Satan, the God of this world, made holidays. Holy days, holidays, holy days, holidays, holy days, holidays. You feel me? He's a copier. He's a devil. We love you, Satan. We love our Father, Messiah, Holy Spirit, way more than you. Love our Father in heaven overall. Well, with all our strength, all our being, all our might, all our thoughts, everything we got in the tank, all our heart, everything, our mind, everything, everything, everything. A man. So yeah. So then he's like, okay. He's like, uh, I think it started off because he was like, okay. He was like, you holding up this, and he's like, he's like, okay. He's just like, um. Like, I forgot exactly what he said at first because he was asking me questions. And he just was like, uh, I just know it ended up to him saying, like, talking about what I'm reading. Like, he's, he, he, like he's he was being focused on this specific Bible. This one right here because it has the Jewish at the top. You mean, look at it and stuff. And he's like, okay. He's like, he's like you keep holding up this or something like that. And he's like, so, like, basically thinking I'm just referring to this. Basically, overall, what I'm just going to say now so that you guys can get it as I'm speaking about it further is that he was just like, why is there not just one thing? Like, as we used to have the scrolls that we can just go to, and there's so many different transliterations. And this overall, this is basically what's holding him back from getting to everlasting life. Other things that I peeped as well, but some for some people, it's just one thing. Honestly, for me, it was just literally the, the world. 
giving up the world and then following the word i couldn't it was hard for me to give up the entire world you feel me as a whole you know i was dealing with many things anime you know that was like one of the last things i had to get off of me you mean don't let one thing hold you back from everlasting life follow all the commandments and we're gonna get to some reading some 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 scripture you know we're gonna figure this stuff out you know what is the one thing that's holding you back you know our father led me to the one thing that was holding me back and then one of my last stumbling blocks that I had to finally really get over was my worldly family. You feel me? They're not following the way. You just pray that they repent and follow the way. You feel me? No more fake stuff. No more of that stuff that's discouraging. Only stuff that's encouraging. We can still accept and give motivation spiritually and physically and mentally. We're just not false. We're not false prophets. We're true. We stay true. They want to discourage you on your mission and we don't accept that. We don't accept discouragement, bro. We reject that, bro. We keep it moving. So he's basically like pointing at the Jewish and I had to let him know there's two different types of Jews, bro. There's the fake Jews, the fake synagogue of the Jews, and then there's the real Yehudim. But he's he's like, he was just like, oh man, it's kind of like, I'm, he's like, I'm saying I'm jumping all over the place and stuff. He was like, he was like, I'm trying to get past this though, bro. Like what you're reading, bro. He's like, I'm looking at this and like, explain to me why you're reading this and stuff like that. And I'm just like, it, then he just he was really talking a lot he started going off of like gps's on phones and he was like you see if we got you mean know, like these two different type of gps's but one of them got to be the better type drink basically is the angle that he's getting it you feel me and i'm just like okay and i had to keep letting this guy know that bro i'm like we don't have the best one and i was trying to explain further but he kept like backtracking me and i was just asking our father to give me more patience because i love his brother and i really was trying to help him out but it seemed like i was talking to my wife it seemed like the holy spirit lets you know all things you know our father in heaven knows all things i don't know all things our father in heaven blessed me with a portion of his spirit our father the messiah and the holy spirit know all things that's why the messiah said i've told you all things we the, this this the scripture is all things you know like all the words of this life is all things sadly of course they took scriptures out of specific scriptures like even this one is just the tanakh just the old testament so it does not have the new testament in it you feel me and what i tried to explain to him is that you have to study different type of scriptures this is what it this is a part of the battle now this is part of the game now this is part of the war now that we don't just have the scroll like messiah and them had and even back in the day they were even selling bibles which our father put on my heart nobody should be selling any bibles this is all the words of this life you shouldn't be accepting any sort of payment for what you do for our father in heaven that's unacceptable so yeah but yeah we have this is a part of the battle brothers and sisters we have to go through different transliterations that's what it is you feel me we have to learn hebrew we have to strive for perfection we have to understand these things you feel me this translation has things like lord in it that is really be all you're really breaking a commandment when you say these things so and and not to say that you won't make it into the kingdom of heaven if this is all you had and you followed every word of this you know because there's still power if you if you're speaking to the one who knows you're speaking to you feel me? You have to have wisdom and understanding to get that. But if you know that Lord is Baal, like let's say you never knew that Lord was Baal like how I did. And until I knew that, our father was still answering my prayers, calling him that. That's just the power that it is in that. And Satan hates that. He hates the power of our father in heaven. He hates our father in heaven. He wants to be like our father in heaven. But no, he can't be like our father in heaven. That's why he literally changed the name to himself, Baal. You know, he tried to even insert himself in there. But he still loses. Brothers and sisters, we already won. You know, and I pray you guys can hear me as well. Listen, we already won. So I just ended up telling the brother, it's like this, bro. I said, you have to want it, bro. If you don't want it, bro, I don't know what to tell you, bro. There is no best scripture right now. We have to go through multiple different scriptures right now. It's basically his thing. And I know this is other people's things that the fact that there's different transliterations that they that they just debunk the entire Holy Bible. That is just debunked in it because it's different transliterations. They don't even want to take the time to study. But it also, you're just telling yourself and you're, you're saying that you're just lazy. Because why would you not want to take this time, the time to study who our father is? You feel me? I just was like, bro, it's like this, bro. Let's say we pull up to the tryout, bro, and it's 100 tryouts, and then it's 20 more, and then it's 30 more, it's 5 more, whatever. I'm going to do every single tryout to make it onto this team. I'm going to do whatever I need to do for everlasting life. This is the most serious thing ever. And he basically was like, we should have a main source that will lead us, lead us to our father. I mean, we have the Messiah, the mediator, you know, but he's like the main book that will just have it all. I'm like, that's not what it is right now. So if you don't want to look through different transliterations, that's on you, brother. I'm going to look through different transliterations. I'm going to go as hard as I can. I'm going to strive for perfection. That's why you see me next to you in the truck reading this the entire time. With your phone, you can download the Holy Bible. Like I showed him, I had the Holy Bible on my phone as well, too, how I go through different translations. There's different translations during on the Holy Bible app. 
you can download different translations there's a bunch of different translations if you want it you're gonna go get it it's like how people go and get this physical money they go and get caesar's money all day they go and get whatever you know like as our father put on my heart you know not coming at the brother but a lot of brothers it plus is their thing what would i do whatever for the lust you know and i used to be me i say whatever to the girl do whatever for the girl just to go and get that right yeah you, you why don't you take that throw away that sin but have that same go and get it for the kingdom of heaven you feel me yeah like what's holding you back you know what the messiah say let's figure it out for some they can't forgive for some they can't repent and own up to what they did they bury it they bury themselves literally for some it's money or possessions here we go we got one right here so and see one came and said to him good teacher what good shall i do to have everlasting life and he said to him why do you call me good no one is good except one elohim but if you hope to enter into life guard the commands he said to him which and Yahushua said you shall not murder you shall not commit adultery you shall not steal you shall not bear false witness respect your father and your mother and you shall love your neighbor as yourself the young man said to him all these i have watched over from my youth what do i still lack Yahushua said to him if you hope to be perfect go sell what you have and give to the poor and you shall have treasure in heaven and come follow me and when the young man heard the word he went away sad because he had many possessions don't let these things hold you back from the kingdom of heaven for some it's the fact that there are many different translations and they want one translation Wait, why are you done working out you just gonna work out out here now mm -hmm. working out out here all right for some it's the fact that there are many different translations and they want one translation to be the best honestly sadly and truthfully this one comes with laziness like most like most do people want the whole platter already in their face instead of working for the ingredients and then cooking it you feel me this is like this this is like this there are many things we need to overcome to achieve everlasting life it's a part of the battle for sadly this last wicked generation which i'm thankful that our father saved my soul and blessed me with a portion of the spirit which we know about even as i was reading numbers today moshe said i would i would that you all would be prophets of our father in heaven and be blessed with his spirit there are prophets moshe was a prophet they've been talking about prophets if you're not tuning the hip to that then i don't know what to tell you you're not tuning the hip and you're not reading for real for real and that's what you need to do may our father the son of the spirit allow these words to pierce through this wind understand we do not have access to the scrolls most of us do not know any other language than one does that mean to stop and not reach your full potential because i was letting the brother know as well okay let's say basically the map is the main one like you mean like how the scrolls is the main one and we don't have this so you're still you're just not going to try and get to the kingdom of heaven because you don't have the map because you don't have the scroll that's that doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense keep going no many no many tryouts and holdings for this team i told the brother look what if you're going for a team, right? You did five practices, tryout joints, and they say, look, it's 10 more. Okay, now you do that, and it's 100 more. Check out our brother who worked for his woman. They gave him the wrong woman. He shut up and went back to work and got her. Take this into accordance with the kingdom of heaven. Listen, listen to Jacob and Jacob loved Rael. So he said, let me serve you seven years for Rael, your younger daughter. And Laban said, it is better that I give her to you than that I should give her to another man. Stay with me. So Jacob served seven years for Rael, and they seemed to him but a few days because of the love he had for her. Let, let, let your battle for the kingdom of heaven seem to you as a few days. Then Jacob said to Laban, give me my wife, for my days are completed, and let me go into her. And Laban gathered all the men of the place and made a feast. And it came to be in the evening that he took Leah, his daughter, and brought her to Jacob. And he went into her, and Laban gave his female servant Zilpah to his daughter Leah as a female servant. And in the morning it came to be that, see, it was Leah. So he said to Laban, what is this you have done to me? And understand that we're not going to get done as, as, as Laban did Yaakov. You know, as you, for what you work for, you will receive. You're working for the kingdom of heaven, so you will receive that. What is this you have done to me? Was it not for Rael that I served you? But listen to our brother, how he shuts up and it goes back to work. Why then have you deceived me? And Laban said, It is not done this way in our place to give the younger before the firstborn. Complete the week of this one, then we give you this one too. For the service which you shall serve with me still another seven years. And Jacob did so and completed her week. Then he gave him his daughter Rael to as his wife. And Laban gave, gave his female servant Bila to his servant Rael as a female servant. And he also went into Rael, and he also loved Rael more than Leah. 
perfectly serve with Laban still another seven years. That's righteous. Brothers and sisters are chasing the other gender harder than the kingdom of heaven. Go harder for the kingdom of heaven as your code went hard for Rael, and our Father will have a great reward for you in the heavens. Don't let lust hold you back. What did the Messiah say? If your right hand causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away from you, for it is better for you that one of your members perish than for your entire body to be thrown into Gihana. Cut your hand off, pluck your eyes out, do whatever it takes to reach everlasting life. I'm gonna do whatever I need to to reach everlasting life. I used to be scared to, fearful. I can't be that way anymore. I only fear you. Our Father in heaven, our leader. Let Messiah the mediator lead you. And he was also getting confused about who the Jews are. I had to let this brother know. He wasn't he wouldn't let me read scripture to him because I guess it was getting too confusing for him or whatever. But listen here. Who are the Jews? Who are the real Jews? In him, you were also circumcised with a circumcision not made with hands, in the putting off of the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Messiah, having been buried with him in immersion, in which you also were raised with him through the belief in the working of Elohim, who raised him from the dead, and you being dead in your trespasses and the, arms, and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has made alive together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, having blotted out that which was written by hand against us, by the dogmas which stood against us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the stake, having stripped the principalities and the authorities, he made a public display of them, having prevailed over them in it. Let no one therefore judge you in eating or in drinking or in respect of a festival or a new moon or Sabbath, which are a shadow of what is to come, but the body of, of the Messiah. Let no one deprive you of the prize, one who takes delight in false humility and worship of messengers, taking his stand on what he has not seen, puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding fast to the head, from whom all the body nourished in it together by joints and ligaments grows with the growth of Elohim. If then you died with Messiah from the elementary matters of the world, why as though living in the world do you subject yourselves to dogmas? Do not touch, do not taste, do not handle, which are all to perish with use according to the commands and teachings of men. These indeed have an appearance of wisdom and self-imposed worship, humiliation, and harsh treatment of the body of no value at all, only for satisfaction of the flesh. And he said to them all, if anyone hopes to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his stake daily and follow me. The true Yehudim are the ones who deny themselves and take up their stakes daily and follow him. And were circumcised not by hand, not by the flesh, but spiritual circumcision. Spiritually. I told the brother that spiritually, if you don't look at these things spiritually, you're going to lose. You're looking at this stuff physically and mentally. Just, you're going to lose. You have to look at it spiritually. Look, look, look what Messiah said about hearing. And I can tell these, these brothers' ears was not open. But his ears were not open. I told him what Lord is. I told him what other stuff is. They get on the phone and start talking about the same stuff I just told him about. And he said to you, it has been given to know the secrets of the reign of Elohim. These are his secrets, a portion of his spirit he's blessing us with. But to rest in parables, that seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not understand. And this is the parable. The seed is the word of Elohim, and those by the wayside are the ones who hear. Then the devil comes and takes away the words from their hearts. Lest having believed, they shall be saved. And those on a rock are those who, when they hear, receive the word with joy. And these have no root, who believe for a while, and in time of trial fall away. And that which fell among thorns are those who, when they have heard, go out and are choked with worries, and riches, and pleasures of life, and bring no fruit to perfection. And that on the good soil are those who, having heard the word with a noble and good heart, retain it, and bear fruit with endurance. Warriors, knights, you mean, we in the battle, and no one having lit a lamp covers it with the vessel or puts it under a bed but he puts it on a lampstand so that those coming in see the light for whatever is hidden shall be revealed and whatever is secret shall be known and come to light therefore take heed how you hear for whoever possesses to him more shall be given and whoever does not possess even what he thinks he possesses shall be taken from him and his mother and brothers came to him and were unable to get to him because of the crowd and it was reported to him saying your mother and your brothers are standing outside hoping to see you and he answering said to them my mother and my brother Brothers are those hearing the word of Elohim and doing it. My cousins, my dad, all of them are the ones who are hearing the word of Elohim and doing it. The devil fell like lightning, and Messiah told us. And after this, the master appointed 70 others and sent them two by two ahead of him into every city and place where he himself was about to go. Then to look at him, sending out promoters for the kingdom of heaven. Let's get it. Then he said to them, the harvest indeed is great, but the workers are few. 
Therefore, pray the master of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest. Go see, I send you out as lambs into the midst of wolves. Do not take a purse, nor a bag, nor sandals, and greet no one along the way. And whatever house you enter, first say peace to this house. And if indeed a son of peace is there, your peace shall rest on it. And if not, it shall return to you, and stay in the same house, eating and drinking whatever with them. For the laborer is worthy of his wages. Do not move from house to house, and into whatever city you enter. And they receive you, eat whatever is placed before you, and heal the sick there, and say to them, the reign of Elohim has come near to you, and into whatever city you enter, and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, Even the dust of your city which clings to us we wipe off against you. But know this, that the reign of Elohim has come near to you. And I say to you that it shall be more bearable for Sodom in that day than for that city. Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethesadai. For if the miracles which were done in you had been done in Tesor and Tesadon, they would have repented long ago, setting a sackcloth and ashes. But it shall be more bearable for Tesor and Tesadon at the judgment than for you. And you, Kephar Nahum, who are exalted to the heaven, shall be brought down to Sheol, who hears you, hears me. He who rejects you, rejects me. They are really just rejecting the Messiah and our Father in heaven and the Holy Spirit. It's sad. And he who rejects me, rejects him who sent me. And the seventy returned with joy, saying, Master, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, I saw Satan falling out of the heaven as lightning. Say, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and none at all shall hurt you. We do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names have been written in the heavens. May our Father, Messiah, and Holy Spirit be with us. Have a blessed day, brothers and sisters. Keep your armor on. We're warriors. Let's get it, man.